So welcome to our first ever Plazies Award Show, and I'm your host for the evening, Mike Johnson. So as I said, there was a lot of planning involved. Uh, I think we got it all lined up nicely for you. Uh, one thing I personally didn't plan on was doing a bow tie for this. Uh, I don't know how Pee Wee Herman does it, uh, day in, day out, always wearing a bow tie. I mean, the amount of time essentially involved in this, when I was done, my hands ached, my fingers were rigid, I honestly couldn't publicly masturbate in this theater right now, even if I wanted to. <laughs> um, I shouldn't complain too much, really, uh, because we have YouTube clips that help you try nearly anything on your own, uh, except you get frustrated. I probably watched five of these, and in every single one I can point out the exact moment where I first got annoyed. Uh, right off the bat, some guy in glasses is filming himself in his garage, he's holding his camera above his head like he fell off a fucking dock, and he's talking about his new Lamborghini or something, like, just here in my garage. But if you can put up with those five seconds, uh, you kind of get something like this. It works. Uh, we have some of Hollywood's biggest stars to be here tonight. Uh, I don't know that we got a great response. Uh, we reached out to the star of, um, oh god, that hit show, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, it's the one where the main character runs into some problems with sex and drugs, among other things. Has to trade in street clothes for this orange prison jumpsuit. But uh, Bill Cosby's reality show is still being filmed, as I said, <laughs> so um, he was unable to make it. Uh, uh, Bono is in Canada. Uh, we extended an invitation to him as well, and the rest of you too. Uh, they brought up concerns about navigating the stage here, though. And since uh, the show is 18 plus, we weren't thinking about the young children uh, nearly enough for Bono's liking. But we really should have tried harder on Dave Grohl, guys. <laughs> uh, Mel Gibson contacted us actually about being here, uh, perhaps trying to get back on any red carpet. Uh, I think that was the case, at least. A lot of the phone conversation was filled with unintelligible garble, uh, something about a cheeseburger. Maybe it was David Hasselhoff. I don't know. Either way. Uh, way too many issues surrounding uh, lack of free drink tickets. Howie Mandel didn't want to shake our hands, and we didn't want to shake Donald Trump's. We had all kinds of issues. <laughs> One guest that was really gung-ho about being here, and we thought we had him lined up, uh, was Christopher Lee. Uh, we left voicemails, text messages, we sent carrier pigeons to Middle Earth. 33 guys. <laughs> It worked, but uh, we got nothing back. I actually think uh, they killed him off on Game of Thrones this week, so that's... Uh, so who do we have tonight? Uh, Logan. Logan, where, where'd you go, Logan? Look at my hand, I can't see... Oh, you're way back there. Uh, you're all right, Logan. Uh, apart from the failed primer run or premier run, the failed rapping career, there isn't much more to say. Every good host has his own unique look from Conan to Leno, uh, and you certainly got that down, but I still don't know about that hair, man. Uh, the don't pay tase me bro look. It's like you got a shock collar that Carly puts on every time uh, the order of the show gets fucked up and it gets completely out of order. Uh, speaking of which, Carly, Nice to see you. Uh, I was honestly surprised that I don't have the whiteboard telling me what's been fucked up so far. Uh, to be fair, you do help us channel our inner Christian Bale and Russell Crowe. You know, we try to be the best actors for you, but mostly we just try not to lose it on you, throw telephones at people, that kind of stuff. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle's here somewhere. There you are, buddy. Nice to see you traded in the uh, shit-stained sweatpants for a little dressier garb, something that you can go outside the four walls of a liquor store in. Uh, for those of you who don't really know Kyle or haven't seen him before tonight, uh, if you go on Facebook, actually, and you take the quiz, what am I going to look like in 50 years? If you're a male, uh, Kyle's result pops up most of the time. I think it's a hairline. <laughs> Um, a lot of people have asked how we decided the winners this year, and uh, really, uh, in all honesty, we tried to copy a major organization, a real uh, know-how-to-do-it kind of group, and how to best handle major decisions such as these. Um, and with FIFA's methods becoming more and more transparent, we now understand the value of a good bribe. So, uh, I know there's a lot of nominees here, uh, so really, if you find uh, Kayleen or Brittany, uh, your chances of winning might go up. You know, there's still time left, folks. Uh, that being said, with all the nominees here, I know not everyone can win, but just to be nominated, we've had so many shows, uh, it's so great for you guys to be nominated. I only have one winner. Uh, thanks for everyone who's been here. Uh, that said, let's get started with some more. Okay? Uh, our first present, our first nominees. Uh, one of our first presenters has no veterinary skills, yet we trust her with wild animals such as dogs and horses.